Hi friends. Okay, so today we're doing another video, but this time we're talking about what is a seam and a seam allowance. And we are learning this because if we sew a seam with the right seam allowance, our finished project's gonna end up the correct size. So a seam is a line or a fold that is formed when we're sewing two pieces of fabric together. So we've got our two pieces of fabric. So let's take a closer look. This is the line of stitches that we just made by sewing along here. And this is the seam line, okay? If we open the fabric out, the seam line on this side kind of looks like a fold of where the two fabrics join. So this is the wrong side of the fabric and this is what the seam line looks like on the wrong side of the fabric. And when you open it out, this is the right side of the fabric and this is what our seam line looks like on the right side of the fabric. So you can notice we don't actually see our stitches from our seam on the right side. So what is the seam allowance? We know that the line is the seam. This is the seam line. The seam allowance is this little bit here, this little bit of fabric on the outside of the seam. So this is the inside of our project. This is the outside. That is the seam allowance. So most times the seam allowance when we're sewing is one and a half centimeters. One and a half centimeters from the line to the edge of the fabric is the seam allowance. So if we go to this side here, and if I take my pencil, this part here that I'm drawing on, this is the seam allowance. And we can actually get a tape measure out and measure that yes, this is one and a half centimeters of seam allowance. So you'll notice that you can only see the seam allowance on the wrong side of the fabric. When you open it out, the seam allowance is hidden. It's on the inside of the project. Okay, so here we are at my sewing machine. And if we have a look at my sewing machine, we are going to see some numbers and lines on the metal plate here. And these are actually seam guides. Okay, if we take a closer look, hopefully you can focus in, you can see that there's a row up here that have fractions on it and they are actually fractions of inches. And we work in centimetres and millimetres, so we actually use this one down here. And if you have a look, you can see the 10, so that's 10 millimetres or one centimetre. 20, so that's 20 millimetres or two centimetres. And there's a little line in the middle and that is actually one and a half centimeters. So when we put our fabric under the machine, so if I get my two pieces of fabric here and join them together. And if I line that up so that it is at the one and a half centimeter line, and if I lower my presser foot, and I'm going to put my foot on the foot pedal. I'm actually sewing a seam by keeping this side of my fabric lined up against that little line there. I'm keeping it at one and a half centimeters. Now, sometimes this little line can be tricky to see. So we actually use at school a little guy like this. 
And this is a seam guide and it has a little magnet underneath the sticker on this side. And we can actually use this to line up with that line like that. Okay, so this means that when we're sewing, if we keep our fabric lined up here against our seam guide, our seam is going to be a perfect one and a half centimeters the whole way down. And there we go. See how we've got that beautiful consistent line going all the way down and it's going to be exactly one and a half centimeters seam allowance. Okay, so next I'm going to show you some clothes and we're going to have a look at the seam allowance on the clothes. Now this is a dress that um, I've actually made and you can see that my seam allowance on my dress is one and a half centimeters along my seam. So here's my seam line. I've ironed my seam outwards on this one. On this side, it's just a line. You can't see any seam allowance. It's all on the wrong side of the fabric. So there's my seam line. So that's got a one and a half centimeter seam. Now, when you have a look at clothes that have been bought from a store, so let's have a look at this one here. And you look at the seams, they are a, a lot smaller than one and a half. And that's generally to save money when they're producing it. So they're mass producing their clothing. And a lot of their pattern pieces are actually cut out in bulk by a laser cutter and they can sew with just a small seam. So this seam here is actually only one centimeter. So you could have a look at your own clothes at home and you could have a look at how big the seam allowance is, where the seam line is and what it looks like from the right side and what it looks like from the wrong side. And you might like to also measure out on a piece of paper a one and a half centimeter line and that gives you a bit of an idea of what a seam allowance is going to be looking like at school and you could compare that with some of the clothes that you have at home and see whether the seam allowance is the same or if they've got a smaller seam allowance excellent work guys so now we know that our seam line and our seam is the line that we've sewn. Our seam allowance is the fabric next to that line on the outside of our pattern piece. So this part at the end. Good job.